Hi, I'm Cody Gibson coming to you from uh, Portland, Oregon, where I have the Portland Real Estate Group and also the United Home Group, which is an expansion company in nine different cities in, in uh, five different states right now. I wanted to talk with you for a moment about the idea of seller price corrections. You know, what's interesting is in a meeting yesterday with Gary Keller, he made a profound statement to me, um, to the whole room, and I wrote it down. And what he said was, you never plan for the market that you're in. You always plan for the market you're going to be in. And so some of you maybe heard me say seller price corrections and you think, oh my gosh, price corrections. I've got seller listings flying off the shelves. Number one, that's awesome. That's cool. Also, especially in this market, if you're listing a lot of homes or many homes, you know, you probably do have some listings here and there that haven't sold yet. And in this market, if it's still for sale, it might be time for a price correction. Here's what I'd like you to think. It's the first day of April, 2016, and I want you to think about the month of April. I've asked my group, both in Portland and the eight other cities that we sell in, to write down specifically the price corrections that we have for a goal this month. Not just the number of price corrections, the amount. So I want you to think for a moment the listings you have that could maybe use a price correction. Now, it'd be silly to go out and say, I'm just going to get a price correction this month. Um, Diana Kokoska with MAPS, my mentor, would tell you that the brain likes specifics. And so if you're going to have price corrections be a specific, you would say specifically, I've got three listings that should have price corrections and by how much? Because after all, if you corrected it by $100, would that achieve your goal? No, probably wouldn't. So I want you to think for a moment, is it 5%, 4%, 8%, 10%? And one of the greatest scripts I know for price corrections is talking with a seller. And let's assume that maybe it's a $250,000 home, you'd be talking with the seller and you would ask towards the end of the conversation, so Mr. or Mrs. Seller, would you rather do the normal price correction of five to $7,000 or the drastic price correction and probably get it sold right now at about $15,000? which would you prefer? And you know what, regardless of their answer, it's gonna open a dialogue. Regardless of their answer, it's going to tell you a little bit about where they are. And you know, one of the things you know is this, the one thing that you can control is the price of the home. You can't always control the location. You can help on the condition. You can absolutely control the price. And you also know, at the end of the day, price does always make homes sell. Always, always, always. So, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I trust it's helpful, have a great day.